I would never, ever take a bribe or ask for a bribe. Never, ever would I ever do that. So how do you describe the language in the text messages that are yeah. providing that indictment? Because I think to the average person, they look right. at that and it seems pretty cut and dry. Yeah, well, no. Uh, well, I'm glad. That's why I'm having discussions with you and other press members. There's always two sides of the story, okay? And some text messages can be misinterpreted. There's a line in there that says it's not worth the political punishment, basically not worth losing committee assignments and staffing for only $5,000, but you indicated that uh, it, it might be worth it for $30,000. I mean, that, that seems to indicate that, yeah. hey, if you give me some more money, it might be worth changing my vote on well, this. There is a different, that, that explanation will come out. Um, you know, uh, we're, and that's all I got, got to say on the explanation of that. There is an explanation, okay? Uh, and that will come out with my attorney so he's asked me not to respond to questions regarding Texas, but I will tell you there is a reasonable uh, explanation for those Texas, and they do not involve in any way um, a move or any intent to take money for a vote. Um, why say uh, we never had this discussion at the end of those text messages? Um, you have to understand that uh, sometimes when an organization um, supports me, gives me an endorsement, okay, then the relationship becomes much tighter and the trust between the two of us come closer together. And uh, at many times some conversations are confidential in nature, okay, because you're a family and I'm family. And if they are looking for my opinion of, of stuff, uh, then, uh, you know, uh, a lot of that is, you know, a confidential discussion between me and the lobbyist, all right? So, there's Do no you think that the public has a right to know about those conversations? Why should those be confidential? Well, they would be confidential, uh, you know, to me and them, and then, Either party wants to disclose it, I wouldn't have a problem with it. It's fine. You know, I'm a, I'm very strong proponent of open government and transparency, and uh, have voted several times for open government and FOIA. But you also told them not to not to make public the conversation. It sounded like you wanted to have that conversation be secret. So what's what's the distinction there? I'm struggling to. Well, uh, that will be brought out uh, with my attorney. Uh, but you know, um, it was it was nothing that would bear anything on these charges. How do you misconstrue there? Because it seems like there's maybe not a lot of room for interpretation when you're reading it. Well, there is. Um, uh, you will find out later that there's a perfect explanation for uh, what was said in those texts. Okay, and. Uh, could I have been a better job of doing something? Probably. But um, those, those my attorney has to deal with, okay, in the total context of everything that was going on. Have you sent text messages like, like this to other organizations before or had conversations like this before with other groups? Mm, probably not. I can't think of any. Um, you know, I was never a texter, to be honest with you. If I had something to say, I would either call them, and that's what I should have done in the long run. Just, just should have, because Texas can be so misinterpreted. Well, there wouldn't be any record of a phone conversation. No, well, I'm, I'm not much at texting and typing, so. Um, would, that, would that have been preferable to not have a record of the conversation? Doesn't matter to me, I mean. Somebody asked me about the conversation, I tell them about it. Not anything wrong in my life. Not anything wrong in your entire life? That's a lot of people, that's a, well, that's a high bar. You better do a file check on me. You know, did I ever get a traffic ticket? Probably. Anything beyond that? No.